Hello to all my shock citizens out there. Hope you guys are having a good day. I've got a real nice video for you guys today. It's actually an Easter egg in Infinite Warfare Zombies in Spaceland. It's the teddy bear Easter egg. I also just wanted to say thank you guys for 60 subscribers. Let's keep it going. Keep sharing, liking, commenting, subscribing. I'm always trying to get better. But let's get into it. What you're going to see here is just a normal employee of the month piece in the in the game. But what I just shot at was August, and that's key for this Easter egg to work. So, I'm going to be showing you some locations around the map that also have employee of the month posted up. And what you're going to do and what you're going to find is teddy bears on three of them. And what you're going to do with the teddy bears is you're going to shoot the teddy bears, and I will show you that going forward in this. There's different locations for where these can be at. The first one I'm going to show you is in Kepler, right up here, up these steps. And you're going to look in there. It's very hard to see, but there was a teddy bear there. And if you saw as I shot it, it now disappeared and made a weird noise. That's good. That's the first step in this. You found the first one. And so now, now we're going to be moving on to other locations. And I'm going to show you guys the basement because actually in the basement there are three potential spots. So I decided let's get that out of the way first. I had enough money. So what you're going to want to do is go down to the Kepler side. And what you're going to find is there is the Employee of the Month bulletin board in the kitchen right here. And as you can see right there, there's another teddy bear. And the teddy bear will always show up in the August spot, so that's always where you're going to want to look to shoot. Um, potentially the guy who created and helped with Zombies in Spaceland, he, he is August, and he was the one who implemented this Easter egg. Who knows? It's just speculation. But the next spot would be down around here, right in here. And if you can see, there wasn't any right there, so I just moved on quickly. And now the third spot is going to be right over in this area, right up there. And once again, there's nothing there in August. It's just the same old guy. So we can move on from the basement. We know that there's no more left in the basement. I do also want to mention that this zombies round that I partook in, I strictly wanted to do the Easter egg. I wasn't going to go any further. Just, just for the sake of this video. But you guys will also see that I pick up the boombox and I already had the umbrella. And those are pieces to get the SETICOM. And I know maybe some of you know that already on how to get those. And that's the main Easter egg. Uh, if you are looking to, if you don't know how to find those, uh, those pieces because they spawn in three different places, let me know and I, I can make a video about that. I know Zombies has been out for a while. But I mean, just just let me know when you when you watch this one, and I can I can provide a video for that. Um, it's it's pretty easy. Now we're gonna be moving on to the next location after I uh, go through this this round of clowns, and I, I just have to say that the clowns to me are very frightening. I'm not a huge fan of these clowns, so I don't do solo zombies that much, but. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a little freaky, but once I get through these guys, which I just did right there, and I'm going to snag my max ammo, I will show you the next location, and that's going to be in the Astrocade. If I go and turn on the power here, of course, just, just because I'm so used to that. But then, up here, on the second floor of the arcade, you're going to go over to this window and I'm going to show you their zombie and you can see in the back after I take out these two other zombies that um, there's the bulletin board again with the employee of the month and there wasn't one on there uh, but that could be another possible location and then next we're going to go out here and you go down uh, down here into this window and you can see that there's one um, and actually in this window there is a teddy bear and that is number three, which will actually complete the challenge. And uh, I gotta mow through a few zombies before I can get back into the arcade. But once you have three, what's gonna happen is it's gonna be new 
not soundtrack, but you're gonna hear a different tune, and you'll see after uh, I go through all these zombies, and I'm gonna go down there. I don't even have Juggernaut yet, so that could have been dangerous. But once I mow through these guys, you'll see what happens when I go into the arcade. And what's gonna happen is you're you're gonna hear a, a tune, and you'll see right now I start uh, dancing around. But I'm gonna shut up and let you guys hear it really quick. It's a different tune than what you're used to hearing, which, you know, is just the normal songs that David Hasselhoff spins as the DJ. But what's also going to happen is right here around the, the portal, it makes the same sound and the song switching up as well. But it's, it's a pretty cool little Easter egg that just was thrown into the game and that can easily be done. I, I've tried the main Easter egg multiple times and I just have not been able to get it yet. I'm going to keep, keep grinding at it and see what happens, but, um, you know, it, hopefully with time it will come, but that's okay. And you see I pick up that last piece of SETI com there. It just happened to be in that location, but I'm still going to show you the remaining locations of where the other bulletin ports could be at. And for that, we're going to head to Polar Peak, because we haven't been there yet. So we've made our way to Polar Peak. Well, we're just going to take out a few zombies first. So there are two locations, I believe, in Polar Peak. We're gonna head to the giant slide because there is one location right there. You're gonna see I gotta get some points to open up the door. But once I do, we're gonna make our way over there. So you go through the fountains over this bridge right next to the slide and the window straight ahead. And what you're going to see is there's one on the side there. And of course, and since we got our three teddy bears, there wasn't going to be one there. And also, before I forget, there is another location right by the roller coaster in Polar Peak. I didn't want to do that. Open it, but there is one right up there right when you board. Um, I've never found a teddy bear on that one, but it could be a possible location, so look for that. But otherwise, that is all the locations, and it's just a fun little Easter egg to do, and it's it's very easy. And you can, it's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Adios.